Yo guys, what's going on? So, um, just got this new painting done. It came out pretty sick. Uh, it took a while, but uh, another big six footer. Um, yeah, it uh, took some time, but I really like how it's come out. I just thought I'd throw up a quick video on the finished painting here. Um, I'll start throwing in some videos of myself painting too as we keep going, you know. But, uh, yeah, came out pretty sweet. I really like how the, how clear this is uh, starting to unfold here, you know. So yeah, we can get a little bit of a close up of it. All the straight lines really suck to do. I just did it a one go, and then I just you know just decided to put a fair amount of paint on when I done that, and then I didn't have to go back. A um, few of them I had to go back and cut in, but. Um, yeah, I really like how this came out. Pretty cool. It's a it's a local hotel, kind of like slash bar thing you can go into. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I don't know. Really like how it's come out. I really like the uh, all the reflection, the glass, and the paint or the walls. You know, the the, yeah, the shadows on the wall or whatever. How those came out. Um, I like how warm. I got some of this over here. This has got a nice gestural flow through the whole thing, which is what I was kind of going for when I started it. Or when I was, you know, working on it, and I just wanted this thing to have a nice, easy, you know, composition to look at, and it's very kind of not too jumpy, and, you know, pretty flat, pretty easy, kind of chill. Did change it a bit for the photo, but, I mean, um, I took out a couple things. There's like a fire alarm or something that was there that was a bright red uh, that kind of distracted my eye a bit. And then there's another fire alarm thing down there too that I ended up taking out. Um, just little things like that that just kind of threw out my, you know, threw off my eye from the composition. But uh, yeah, this came out really cool. You can see it's getting a lot cleaner. I'm really trying to, so these new brushes, man, they just really do some good work. Um, they're only five bucks. Here, I'll show you the, uh, the brushes I got here. It's a little covered in paint, but uh, yeah, these are the ones that are uh, not this side. I'm saying the other side, like see that? This is totally destroyed in paint, but uh, yeah, these are the ones I picked up. <clears throat> Real value, I agree with that. But uh, nice handling, applies paint really, really well for acrylics. Um, five bucks created this thing with these so um, I got two packs of those I picked up a, you know a few more paints here and there um, sorry for the mess I, I like working in a mess besides the palette I keep that clean so um, I don't get any you know muddy color you don't want none of that when you're mixing see how fresh that blue was that I mixed it with a little bit of the black to tone it down you know but uh, I noticed that when I was you know first learning to paint was muddy color is not fun so when you grab your white when you want to get you really want to get that white white you know so that's so why you know you see color different places not on the same one um or like i'll just grab it from the front and then keep going back um because you don't want to get muddy color that's no fun so that I accidentally left open that's all dried up that kind of sucked <laughs> i was like oh crud. i just kept working and it just dried up but thankfully i just buy these cheap basic ones you know, it actually says basic on it, which is pretty tight, so... Yeah, I'll show you a better one. But, uh, yeah, see, it just says basic right on there. Uh, that's kind of cool. And they work great, too. That they this is, You know, they're pretty cheap, but, I mean, they work great. These little things are only two bucks. I'm going to keep buying more of these. I highly recommend these. Um, they're, they're just little samples, I think, or something. They're, this was only two dollars, so I picked up another one. I picked up these two. And I actually just might start, you know, using these. Um, I just like buying loads of paintings, you guys can tell. This is a metal plate for something my dad got to mount here. I don't know what for. But um, this is some old white paint that was dried up in here. So I just thought I'd do a video on whatever all this is, in case you guys are wondering what, what the heck goes on over here. Um, but yeah, this is old. There's still stuff in there. It works fine. No caps on, whatever. I'm okay, just got some paint on my hand. But yeah, new brushes are always good. Look at that. Pretty sick. 
pretty sick. Yeah, but the new brushes are really nice. Very good. Highly recommend. Five five bucks for all these. You know, some brushes you only get one for five bucks, so that's why um, I was pretty stoked on that. I was just trying to find the cheapest stuff to paint with, you know. So I just love to paint. Um, this is also very cheap. This is only about a couple bucks from uh, Home Depot, and you get all this paint in here, and you can get whatever color made. I just feel weird buying a bunch of random colors, but they don't know what we're what, our, what, yeah, what we're up to over here, you know. But uh, yeah, this is my little setup here. So this is just the glass backing, and then I pop the cardboard off and put it underneath, and then this is just the foam to kind of hold it as a palette. There's another one that broke. And that one's not done for now, so. Um, yeah, but back to this. This came out really, really cool. Um, I'm just doing a whole bunch of these for like a series of uh, non-related car stuff for uh, my dad's friend that uh, really wants me to start painting other stuff besides cars, so, you know. I, I have to do cars here and there just because I go kind of loopy if I don't do a car, you know. It drives me kind of nuts. I like painting cars a lot, but. I mean, I have to start doing some other stuff here too, so, yeah, this came out really sick, but, uh, yeah, that came out nice too, this little glass area here, that was fun to pull together, got the little sign back in there, and you got some other stoplights and stuff, and, um, yeah, this bit up here, this really sucked to do all that, and that was just, that was not fun at all. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I got some more um, Fredericks canvas pads. I'm gonna do some cars on these. Oh, I actually picked up tone ones. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't know that. That look kind of cool. Um, I could just paint on the back. That look kind of tight. I actually might do that. That's pretty cool, actually. I might just paint on the back of these. Like you're supposed to paint on the front, I think. But I think this actually looks cooler. I might do that on this side. That's funny though. I didn't know I picked up tone. Probably says it on there. Texture. Oh, I didn't see that. Whoops. But um. Yeah, I really like how uh, this piece came out. Sorry for the mess of tripods over there. But um. Yeah. Came out pretty cool. I love how all this came out. That was really fun. All of this. All of that over there. Oh, that was a blast. And now, I've gotten burnt out of this piece, and I'm going to go to the next one, and I almost forgot to take a video before I took it down, because I'll just start going to the next piece, and so forth, you know, so, yeah, this one came out sick. Yeah, the contrast is getting really good. And another thing, if, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but there could be a shadow or something when you're painting. It makes these top colors seem darker up here because of, of this, you know, hitting the top of that. So when you take it off, it'll be brighter. So, it's a little words of wisdom there. See how it, that line there cuts across like that and it makes this darker when it's all originally the same. So, yeah. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This came out sick. But, it's about all for now. Um, I'm going to get paint into. Or I'm gonna keep painting, uh, keep painting away. Uh, I got a few cars to do actually that uh, people have requested, and uh, I'll get to those. Um, pretty stoked on them. So yeah, those will be fun to do. I'll have to show you guys those when they're done. Um, got quite a few of them. I posted actually, you know, a fair, you know, like maybe like five or six pictures of my paintings in a local car group and. Uh, they had a pretty good reaction to it, so I got some requests from uh, posting in there, so that was pretty fun. Um, kind of blew up my news feed a little bit, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. That's about it, though. Let's look at this thing. So, yeah. Um, I gotta go and do a few of those cars now. Um, even the people like that didn't, you know, get, weren't able to, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, maybe that's time to end the video if I'm losing train of thought there with my words. So, um, I didn't know I bought multiple shades of tone canvas paper 
Um, I thought it was white, but I'll, I'll make it work. I'll make it cool. So, yeah. I really like how this came out. Really, really neat. I love how clear this is coming forward, so... Yeah, it's becoming really fun and exciting. And now I'm excited to do some car stuff to see how clear that comes out, too. And, one last thing. I want to see... Sorry, that's old, I know. But, I want to see if I can make use of all this. Because that's a lot of paintings slash money there. So, I've done some stuff on Newsprint I can show you guys. But, uh, that's some old scribbles. This scribbling, I don't know what this was. Practicing my graffiti, I guess. See, it'd be, I don't know what that means. Just quick little graffiti things. But, yeah, I'm going to try and figure out how to, you know, finish uh, all this stuff here. Save the paper, you know. I have one. I don't know where that is. Oh, here's one. I've done a few. Hold on. I'm getting to the, sorry about that, there it is. Yeah, see, this is on newsprint here. See, look at that. So that, that's, that came out really cool. This was done on newsprint. Same with that. So I'm gonna just try and like, save her. Sorry, it's just, it's just a mess over here, but. Um, I'm just gonna try to save her all this. It just sucks the paint on, because it gets really wet and the paper comp, you know, whatever. But it's cheap and there's a lot of stuff in here to use. But, um, yeah, where's the other one that I had? I was trying to find this other one I've done. Nope, 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 I don't know where it went. Those two came out pretty cool. Oh, there it is, I found it. This is, yeah, there's a couple of them that came out pretty cool there. So, yeah. It looks cool when it dries, but I remember seeing through that one and the, the way the paper was really sucked. But once it dries, it looks really cool. It looks like watercolor almost. This one was done in a uh, straight up marker actually. It was a pretty quick one. So I might have to do some more stuff like that because it, it was really easy to do. And uh, it's pretty fun to use markers again, so. Yeah. But, um, that's about it. Um, yeah. I like how this piece came out. I'm just gonna keep going to the next thing, so. I mean, I can always sit there and fuss with it, and there's always something to do, and I don't know. I just have to keep moving on with it, so. Um, yeah. Here's my vlog for today, so. Yeah. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Peace.